So here we have the third question, and um, looking at this, we have, I'm going to go straight to the diagram. What is this diagram talking about? It's talking about emission spectra, okay? Um, when elements are heated and um, electrons can be promoted to a higher energy level shell, falling back down their original state, energy is released as light. The wavelength of light is directly related to the element being heated, so we're talking about the idea of flame tests here, and emission spectra is all about flame tests. Use a labelled diagram to explain the emission spectra, how the, so you explain how the emission spectra is obtained. This is talking about how do we actually end up with wavelengths of light coming out. A labelled diagram suggests a diagram of an atom, so therefore we have a nucleus, we have electrons, um, and we have electrons falling back down to a lower energy level. So therefore, let's go with this, we have a nucleus, we have an electron, because we're trying to do it labelled, and we have um, electron shells. This is not a great diagram, but it does it for this point here. So, and then I'll go and do a little diagram or a sentence as to what this diagram's talking about. So, as electrons fall from a higher energy back to their ground state, this energy is released as light. So therefore, we have a good, a basic diagram showing the electron falling back down from a higher energy level to a lower energy level, and I probably should put that this here is light coming off it as well, so showing the lights coming off this. And then along with a diagram, I always put a bit of an explanation as to what that diagram's trying to represent. I don't just leave it as a diagram alone, I need to say what does this diagram show me. Um, and it needs to be labelled, so therefore I had to put the nucleus, electron, shell, and so on and so forth. Okay, next question, what is the difference between an excited elect atom and a cation? So let's go with excited first of all. Excited. And we're just going to define them. If we have to explain the difference, we define them and then we try and look for the difference and talk about that. So excited um, atom, the electron has gained energy and been promoted to a higher shell. A cation has lost electrons completely, completely. All right, so therefore that's the difference. Excited atom, electrons get promoted to the higher energy level shell like this. However, the cation is where the electrons can be completely moved, removed, has lost an electron completely, and is positively charged. We'll call that as well. Excited atoms are still neutral, whereas cations are positively charged now. Lastly, we need to use the data in this spectrum here to identify what elements are present in the star. So let's have a look at this. What we need to do is know that these wavelengths of light represent the element. So therefore, if this wavelength is present in the star, it has that element. If I look through it, I can see that lithium has a wavelength here, but the star does not, so it can't have lithium in it. Okay, what else have we got? Hydrogen matches up here, it matches up here, it matches up here, so hydrogen's looking good. Helium is in here, helium's here, helium's here, helium's here, so helium's good. Sodium does not have wavelengths that correspond to our star, so sodium's not good, so it must be just hydrogen and helium. Um, are present in our star that we're analysing. And that's our answer to question three.